I think I got it. I just now got to get this zipper parka thing through this tiny hole. Okay. I am not the patient thrifter. <gasps> I'm a restless thrifter and I'm a reseller on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Depop, Facebook Marketplace. And yes, I had some Facebook Marketplace sales. These were actually local pickup sales, which is awesome because they don't take fees off of those and I don't have to ship them. Um, but then there's all the questions you get from people and then having to either meet or do porch pickup. So it has its downsides too. Um, but I will notice that once you start getting inquiries and making sales through local pickup, more of those will happen. I'm hoping some more shipping sales will happen too, just because the fees are still very low on Facebook Marketplace. They used to be 5%. I'm going to put here what they are now because I think that's changed. Now, I have noticed that Facebook Marketplace customer experience is non-existent, or at least it was. So I'm hoping if I run into any issues, that'll be better these days because... I find um, eBay customer service to actually be pretty responsive, especially if you can call in. Um, Poshmark's okay, and same with Mercari, they're just okay. And then Depop, I don't know because I've never had to. Um, I have a Depop sale as well. I think I have eight or nine sales, and this is over uh, at least two days. Okay, let's get started. If you're new to my channel, I just, I record myself packing up my orders and I tell you about them, tell you how much I paid, how much I will make, and all, you know, where I found it and all that kind of good stuff. Um, good stuff if you're, you know, interested in that kind of stuff. And if you're returning, thank you so much. Welcome back. The first item we're shipping out is... A good one it is an on target sale and for me that means that it sold in less than 90 days or 90 days or less and for $30 plus shipping or more so it is an Anne Fontaine size EU 38 US 4 to 6 cardigan sweater Presley wool alpaca belted And my tip for you guys on things that are sized in European sizing or any sizing that's not U.S. Um, first of all, find out if it's European, Italian, French, whatever, because they are different. Not everybody uses the EU sizing, not all brands, if they're in Europe. And um, go to that brand's size chart and figure out what the translation is. Because you may think you know what an EU 38 is but it could be different from brand to brand by a little bit. So that's what I did. Sometimes I even include, include a screen grab of the size chart just so they know I'm not crazy. I mean, I am, but anyway, this one sold through a customer offer very quickly. It sold on eBay in three days. I had it listed for 60 and a customer offered me 45. The ASP is $32 on Anne Fontaine sweaters. This one had some alpaca in it. And um, the sell through rate is 23%. So I'm also going to put here how I calculate things. It caps out at 100%. So 23% is, you know, a quarter of the things that are, have sold in a 90 day period. Um, a quarter of the things that were listed in a 90 day period have sold uh, and the other 75% have not. I'm rounding up to 25% there. All right, I wanna put this in a box just because it is a very nice sweater and I don't want it to get pierced. Yeah, let's use this one to get a recycled box out of here. It's like I tend to collect these boxes and then not use them when I can and I should. All right, so it's gonna be noisy. I do use a tape gun and my tape is not silent. <laughs> so here we go. Oops, not yet. I am looking out the window every now and then because I am expecting someone to pick up something from the porch. You will then Venmo me. Oh, moth in the window. Is it stuck? I feel like it's 
stuck between the glass. Hmm. Okay, putting this in the box, there is a little extra space. So I have these air pillows. Yeah, I knew I had some around here that I saved from other packaging that I will stick in there. Put two in there from Uline when I ordered some bins. They sent like a million of them, which I'm like, cool, free packing materials. More tape noise. All right, let me measure the box. I have a tape measure just taped to the desk for this. It's 15 by 10 by four and a half. 15 by 10 by four and a half. I have a scale right here. But a zero it out for some reason. And again, what's happening? Okay. 15 by 10 by four and a half. I, I will forget those numbers like that. Oh, yay. 15 by 10 by four and a half. 15 by 10 by four and a half. 4.5 and it weighs one pound, um, 14 ounces, that's rounding up. And so it will cost me to ship USPS Ground Advantage, which is the slowest, but that's what they chose. It will cost me $9.05 to buy the shipping label. eBay buyers get a discount on shipping labels. You can pass that along to sellers. You can keep it for yourself. Um, you can pass part of that discount along. I used to pass it all to buyers for the first like four years of my reselling. And then I said, you know what? I'm spending money on tape and labels and this printer and all these boxes when I'm not using recycled ones and poly mailers and I'm just going to consider that my shipping expenses, you know? Um, and then the buyer, I made $36.52 on this. The buyer ends up paying the retail rate from the USPS, which, you know, is what they're shown based on measurements of the box, based on um, weight and based on where it's going to. So, I will say that I ended up paying a little bit more than they paid uh, than I had estimated because I underestimated the weight because I guess I didn't think I was going to ship it in a box or something or that it would be this heavy. So sometimes it costs me a little bit more than expected. I'm going to put a thank you sticker on it and I never know whether I need to cover up all the labels. So if I have like a, a white, a blank shipping label, I will put it over any other barcodes, you know, just so it doesn't get confusing. I think some of them are fine to leave on. You know, like the post office isn't gonna accidentally scan a big Amazon label, but you never know if, uh, if they do, I guess. I think they will. All right, that sold like super quick in three days through the offer of $45. This next one is a set of pairs. This is the one that sold on, what is today? Today is Saturday, so it sold on Thursday. And I've purchased the label. This is going to Montana. That sweater is going to Florida. So this is going to Montana, and it is a set of six sugared pears, vintage, fall, Christmas, winter decor. They're really cute. I have five more sets of these. And some of the little beads have fallen off, and I made note of that. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to figure out what box I'm going to use. But I'm thinking out loud. It's very loud in my brain. I think I'm going to use this recycled Clorox box. Let's see, is it big enough? Yeah, that's big enough. 
got a piece of paper. I picked these up at a garage sale. Oh, the Anne Fontaine I picked up at a thrift store. I don't think I told you what I paid. Sorry, I'm a little um, out of sorts, I guess. Uh, they paid with shipping $57.95. Fees were $806. I paid $432 at a thrift store. Shipping expenses, I already told you. Profit, I already told you, $36.52. Okay, now going back to the powers. I paid a dollar per six pairs. So six dollars for all of them. Cost of goods on this set was six, uh, was one. And I got them at a garage sale kind of down the street from me. And they were all new and packaged, but I opened up all the packages and so I can inspect them and see like what the condition was and take pictures of the actual pairs because I didn't want to do a multi-quantity listing and have all the pairs be in various states of vintageness. Because those beads are just glued on and glue does not hold forever. Going to my Montana and putting on a thank you sticker. Shipping expenses were $8.63. They paid with shipping twenty four ten. I paid a dollar. Marketplace fees were three sixty and shipping expenses eight sixty three, making my profit ten dollars and eighty seven cents. The customer offered me twelve. I had them listed for twenty. I'm gonna go ahead and take whatever I can get on these pairs because I bought them so cheap. There are beads missing, and the comps were a little bit like. This so the average sold price was $18, but I feel like some pairs were branded and some weren't. <clears throat> sell through rate is 20%. Some resellers will tell you they don't buy anything that won't sell, like doesn't have a hundred percent sell through rate. First of all, a lot of times they're calculating it differently than me, so that would be a 50% sell through rate in my case. And e even then, I mean you see that the first two items sold very quickly. So you have to consider other factors too, like size and all those things. What am I doing? Um, next one is one that took longer than I expected. It's a beautiful Lily Pulitzer dress. It's sold on Poshmark. Lily Pulitzer size 10 Wales dress. That's the style. Lily Pulitzer dresses have style names and it's good to figure out which style it is. Silk X marks the spot. That's the name of the print. That's also good to figure out. Nautical Coastal Prep. I loved this dress. I bought it at a thrift store, sort of. It's one of those thrift stores that's also sort of a gift shop that has new stuff, really cute things, and all of the proceeds go to animals, which I like. I had this listed for 58. A customer offered me 52 after seven and a half months. The place is called Secondhand Treasures and it's in Dallas. I paid $13.86 because it was on sale. And they paid, uh, well, 52 plus shipping. Marketplace fees on Poshmark were $10.40. My shipping expenses on Poshmark are zero. And so my profit was $27.74. This was not on Target because it didn't sell fast enough. But I'm okay with that too. This is, I, I, my, on my target is like an average, but if an individual sale hits them, I like to make note of it. It just helps me know like what will help pull my average up to where I want it to be. The other one, you know, it's just something that I knew wasn't going to sell for $30, but I picked up anyway. So I was fine with that. I do have quite the backlog of items to list. Some might call it a death pile. Uh, so I am trying to only pick up things that will sell for $30 or more at this point. Not always successful. Can't help myself sometimes. So this is going to Massachusetts. I think that's perfect. That's who I could see 
wearing this beautiful nautical coastal dress is a preppy lady in Massachusetts. Yes, perfect. I hope she loves, loves, loves it. And I did send that out in a USPS poly mail, not a bubble mailer, the padded flat rate, which I like to use for my Poshmark sales because I can get them free at the post office and Poshmark, you can use any of that packaging. Okay, the next one is, a, also took a while. I think I kind of listed this out of season and then it just took an extra bit of time. This is an Anthropology Maeve size 1X sweater, new Kiera mustard textured merino wool blend. And I did pay up for this. I paid $15.69. I pay, I listed for $80. They paid full price. It sold in six months. It's $148 retail. And I did love that it was plus size. Um, if it hadn't been plus size, I don't know if I would have paid up for it. Maybe, maybe not. It would have depended on what the comps were showing, which I didn't really find any at the time that I listed it, which was back in May. So I guess I just listed it out of season and it sold, you know, the perfect timing. Um, it sold for $94 plus $94.10 with the shipping cost. Marketplace fees were $12.02, and now let's figure out shipping expenses. I'm going to put this in a box, too. I don't know why I'm being so weird about my sweaters going out in boxes. Stop being weird and just put them in poly mailers. This time of year, I just assume everything is like a. Okay, it looks like you've been with me. Is a uh, gift, you know. I know that the mailing system is getting really busy and I just feel like things don't, you know, may not be as well transported. One pound, 15 ounces. So I'm going to round up to two pounds, which is going to definitely mean I'm going to pay more. Uh, 12 by nine by four. And nine dollars and 37 cents is what it's going to cost me to ship. And I made 57.02. So this is also not on target because it took longer than five months. If I had just waited and sold it in the season, it would have been considered on target. But does it matter in the scheme of things? No, not really. I'd rather have it out there and give it a chance to sell than have things stack up. Now, if I have a whole pile of sweaters and a whole pile of shorts right now, I'm going to pick the sweaters <laughs> to list. Uh, Vermont, that's where this is going. That is a state I've never been to. I'd love to go. 57.02 is what I made. Sold in six months full price. Okay. Now that that guy's already come and gone, maybe I can focus a little bit better and move this along. All right, next one is a Poshmark sale. It is a, set, a pair of dr driving loafers. That's what they call them. They're just loafers. Moccasins. These are Lauren Ralph Lauren size 10 driving loafers. Soft leather, pearl gray slip-on. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. They sold for $33. I'm going to pull up. I don't remember if that was what that was. Um, yeah, that was a full price sale. And sold in... 9, 10, 11, six months. These were $6.60. Now I paid $10.81, which could have been a risk, but didn't turn out too bad. And um, my shipping expenses are zero. So I made $15.58. Now this is a Poshmark sale, so I'm going to send it out in a Poshmark 
uh, well, not a Poshmark box, a USPS box. And I've got these regional rate B boxes, which the post office doesn't use anymore, uh, that service, but you can still use the boxes if you have them or can find them for regular priority shipping, it's fine. When you print out Poshmark labels, they will have a P on them, meaning priority. And that means you can use these red, white, and blue boxes. Don't use the express ones. That is not allowed unless you're using express mail, uh, which Poshmark has never sent me an express mail label, so I don't think that's even possible. Hmm. I try to keep things within arm's reach, but there's just too many things I different things I need at times. So I'm gonna put some of those in there, fill up that space. I don't want these shaking around. Going to New York, New York State, not New York City. Oh, she has a pretty name. Okay, next one is a something I shouldn't have picked up because it took forever to sell. Sell and. Didn't sell until I put it on 75% off on eBay. I've been running this sale all month. I still have a few things listed at 75% off. This is a tiny little top. It's so cool. And it is a Pottery Barn Kids size zero to three months top embroidered ivory tunic button up cotton. Just a cute little shirt. Pottery Barn's a good brand. But clothing, I don't know. Do they sell a lot of clothing? I, I don't know much about bibbies. It weighs two ounces. It's also going to New York. I didn't say I made fifteen fifty nine on those. I did. That's what I made on those shoes. Pottery Barn Kids, oh, I already read the title to you. I like to read the titles just so you get an idea of how I list things. So it's weighing two ounces, sending it at a six by nine. It's gonna cost me $4.54 for the label. This took a year and nine months to sell. I paid 27 cents with shipping, the buyer's paying $7.94, marketplace fees $1.97. And I made a dollar sixteen, and I'm glad it's going out. I'm glad some little kid will get to wear it. Next one is my Depop sale, and it is a hat. It's really cute. It's a La Fenice wool blend hat, newsboy, newsboy textured knit. <clears throat> and I don't know, it went on with some other words, but it's cut off. Um, it sold full price for $24.96. Um, full price sales, not that usual, uh, normal for me on Depop. Sales in general are not that normal for me on Depop. So they paid $24.96 plus shipping. My cost of goods was $1.56. I think I got this like kind of at a bag sale. Yeah. And the, they paid full price. It sold after two months. And my marketplace fees were $1.53. Depop only charges you for 
um, the payment processing fee. They don't charge you a separate platform fee like everyone else is charging you for both. Um, well, except for Mercari, who doesn't charge you for anything. They just fold it into their other costs. Um, well, eBay does, for example. And I don't know, Poshmark, I guess, considers it in their, in their other fees. So it is a little cheaper to sell on Depop, which is cool. And this weighs, oh, it doesn't matter. I forget. It doesn't matter what it weighs because they already bought the label through Depop. I, already, I considered what the weight and everything was beforehand. It's going to Georgia. If I were to do this one platform at a time, maybe I wouldn't get so confused about the different shipping possibilities. But I don't. I just go in the order of my email and I do them one at a time so I don't mess up because I do mess up. <laughs> and I have. And I don't want to send someone the wrong thing. I mean, no one wants to do that. But I, if I tried to do it in bulk or something, I would definitely mess up. Yep, yep. All right, so my profit on that hat was $21.87. It's a pretty good um, price for that hat, really. The next one is a personal item that sold. It's a, some Christmas decor that I'm selling of my own. Ugh, I got this at a garage sale. <laughs> no, I don't know what I paid, but I got this at a garage sale long ago. It is a set of Midwest of Cannon Falls wooden Santa Matryoshka dolls, inside dolls, <laughs> dolls inside dolls, hand painted. In case people don't know the word Matryoshka or how to spell that, dolls inside dolls. Maybe what they look for. These are some Santas. And I don't think it includes the whole set. I show all the images and everything. It's three dolls. I feel like it's missing one of the dolls. And it sold for full price of $8.97, maybe. No, it wasn't full price. I had it listed for $12. Um, sold in 20 days. I don't know. This was either me sending them an offer or when I promoted it and dropped the price, it was one of those two things. Marketplace fees, zero. Cost of goods I'm putting a zero. Shipping expenses, zero. So I made $8.97. And I do want to find a box for this guy for sure. All right. Another Amazon Prime box. Okay, guys, if you want to leave a comment below and tell me, do you want me to pack all this stuff up in advance and then just go over my sales? Or do you prefer to, prefer to see how I'm actually shipping it and watch me struggle to find boxes and wrap things? I'd be curious to know. I assume since you're watching a ship with me video, you want to see how I'm actually shipping it, but I don't want to make that assumption necessarily. So if I get like a gazillion comments saying, yeah, just pack it up and tell us what's sold, I might do that. We'll see. Wrapping it up in some packing paper and this in here. I need to feel the paper on my fingers. Okay. the box. Do you sell on eBay? Let me make sure. Yes. No, Mercari. So I don't need to measure it away. I'm just going to print the label. Going out USPS Ground Advantage. To Wyoming. Okay. 
cover up this extra barcode just in case. And this next one is Poshmark. It is a Dar Star Wars Darth Vader plus size 2XL sparkle sweater lightweight gray heather. I think some people call this space dye too. I could use that. This is Star Wars, haha. It's a really cute sweater. Took a while to sell. Sold for $19. That was an offer from the buyer. I had it listed for 30 and it had been online for seven months already, so I decided I'll take that. I paid $250. Looks like I got it at Thrift Giant, one of the Thrift Giants in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. There's so many of them. And I probably got it on a half-off day. You can go on their website or their app. They have an app. And check out when their sales are. Marketplace fees were $380. Shipping expenses will be zero. So I made $1270. It's going to Michigan. Is that my second one going to Michigan today? Okay, so I mentioned that I had Facebook Marketplace sales and I didn't include that in the eight. I had one, two, three, four. And I just realized that one of those was supposed to be shipped out already. I actually had five and it got one of them got canceled because I waited too long. All of my Facebook Marketplace emails go to my main email address, which just gets flooded with spam. So I've got to figure out a way to get e those emails forwarded over to my reseller account, or I just got to be paying better attention, which is probably what I need to do. Um, but one of them didn't get canceled and I'm so gra glad I can send it out. I hope that, I mean, I haven't, I, don't know, I haven't received any nasty grams or anything, but anyway, this is a, Sale of two of these tiny little bitty oil lamps. They're so cute. I had one lady who was interested in these for local pickup, but they were way smaller than she was expecting. So that didn't work out. And I'm glad that we figured it out before we met up. I've got to get this pin back in place. Let me do this. First, I need to get this threaded back through. Undo it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then, oops, no. God dang it. I didn't want a craft project. I just want to get rid of it. I'm going to thread it back through. Okay. I got it. I had to get some tweezers. Okay, now I can see how this works. What's up? You can come in. Sweet your... What you doing? Hi, oh, baby. I know. Should have brought those tweezers in here because I still have to get this through the other side. I'm not good with tiny things or things that require patience, but my husband is, so I may have to ask him for help if I can't get it. I think I got it. I just now got to get this zipper parka thing through this tiny hole. Okay. I am not the patient 
grifter. <gasps> just pulled it. All right, so these little things fit in here very precariously. I am going to put tape over it just so they don't do the same thing. Think, how am I going to make sure that they don't do the same thing? I'm going to leave them a note. I'm going to put a sticky note in the package that just tells them, you know, be careful when taking the tape off um, because it's there to keep the wick from coming out. Okay, would you appreciate a note like this? Remove tape carefully so that wick does not pop out. It is tedious to rethread. I don't know. They may be like. Okay. Here's some bubbles. And I'm going to wrap this. Up like this. I've got this little box that I think is for checks. Should be pretty good. I need to make it a little, a little less vertical. Or a little less bubbly. This is going to a lady in Texas who I hope is patient because this took a while for me to get shipped to her. Oh, I gotta plug the computer back in. Okay. tell you what I made on that and then I will tell you about the other three which were local pickup. So that one, let me open up my order from Facebook. Man, I feel terrible that I didn't notice that other one that got canceled too. Okay, the buyer paid $14 plus shipping and tax. Uh, I have to figure out what I'm making. Hmm. So did I have to buy the label? I guess I did have to buy the label. Okay. So $19.75 with shipping is what they paid. And then I paid $5.75 for the label. And then my fees were what? Were a selling fee of 210 210 and I paid 47 for these at the store so my profit was seven dollars and three cents I picked these up because I thought they were adorable you know I didn't think that they were gonna sell for much but they were super cute um, instead of selling them as a pair they sold them individually which made my cost of goods a little higher than I was kind of expecting and I forgot to put the damn note in I'm sorry, lady from Texas. You'll figure it out. You'll <laughs> she'll figure it out. Okay. So there's that. And then there were three local orders, which um, I need to figure out. I need to delist, I guess. Um, 
sold, Marcus sold. Okay. So the first one was a set, a uh, lot of three 511 tactical shirts that this guy paid 40 bucks for all three shirts. My cost of goods, 771 for all three. Marketplace fees are going to be zero and shipping zero because he came local and picked them up. So I made 32.29. Very nice, very nice. I'm making sure it delisted from everywhere. Looks like it did. And then I sold this, the one that just got picked up, an LL Bean men's size extra large regular chore coat jacket canvas corduroy khaki lined. And then I put the number in it. And on the back, it's got a very lightly colored Pfizer logo. I don't know if the man works for Pfizer or if he just doesn't care that the logo's there, but it's in the same color thread as the jacket. So you can barely even see it. And it's only like, you know, an inch and a half long or so. So I don't think it's a big deal. And either he didn't think it was a big deal or he works for Pfizer. I don't know. Um, either one is possible, I suppose. I'm going to mark it as sold, and he paid $40 for it. I paid $7.57. Marketplace fees, zero. Shipping expenses, zero. So I made... Dun, dun, dun. Um, $32.43, and it looks like it's getting an error on Mercari, whatever. And then the last one is super cool. This is actually being sold to an actual rock star. She is in a few local bands, I think, but her 80s band is what um, inspired her to buy this. And it is a Loring Mondrian art inspired wool coat, vintage geometric patchwork blazer jacket. So many people on Facebook were interested in, in this. I think once somebody messages you about something, it gets shown to more people or something because I think it triggers the algorithm in some way because I got so many more messages from folks. She also paid 40. These were all offers that we worked out, like negotiated back and forth. Um, 649 is what I paid for it. $0 marketplace fees, $0 shipping expenses. Local pickup, I am willing to negotiate further. I do not have offers turned on. So somebody has to message me and I prefer not to be bartering back and forth, but it's working out for me. I'm not going to do it for low dollar items. I'm just not going to even respond if somebody says, will you take $2 for this $5 item? But for higher dollar items, I will. I made $33.51 on that. So now let me go and look and see what my total sales were for those two days. My total revenue was $403.82 and my total profit $261.18. And I'm just kind of waiting for the rest of the analytics to load because I want to make sure that it's showing the correct number of sold items. Yes, 12 items. Yay, hooray me. I love that I was able to make a little bit on local pickup. And it hasn't been too much of a hassle. I've just been allowing people to come to the house and do porch pickup. Um, is that safe? I hope so. All right, guys, um, I sold 12 things. I listed 10. Those numbers are usually pretty close together. If you list more, you will sell more. So just keep listing.